Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Brian Dolan uh, from Sangaban Construction Products in Ireland. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Dahi and the IIEA for the opportunity to sponsor the event. Uh, we were here last year uh, with some colleagues and just ordinary participants, members of the audience, uh, but we're very impressed by what we saw, both the, the quality of, of the presentations and indeed the quality of the attendees. So when we were asked to sponsor this year's event, we were more than happy to do so, so thank you. Okay, the title of uh, my presentation this afternoon is How to Make Retrofit Work. A uh, number of topics that I'd like to cover. Uh, first of all, I'd like to explain who Sangaban are. We're actually one of the largest companies in the world, uh, but we're not that well known, uh, particularly here in Ireland. Then we'd like to give you our view on the industry issues as, as we see them. Um, you know, we all know that there's a, a large number of houses in, in Ireland that uh, have a poor energy performance. You know, there's at least a million homes, people have said, that need an upgrade, and it's going to be a big industry uh, over the next 10, 20 years. But in Sangaban, we think that there are other factors that need to be considered. You know, we talk about the comfort levels. What, are, you know, what about noise? What about damp? What about air quality? Are these houses, are they good to live in? Are they good to work in? Are they good to raise a family in? And for so the, the, these so-called bad buildings, are there associated health risks from the cold, from the damp, from the mould? For us, these are also factors that need to be considered, as well as upgrading energy performance. Um, there's definitely a skill shortage in the industry. You know, I think we, we have to, I'm going to give you our view on that. But do we have enough tradesmen to ensure a quality, a quality, a quality build? You know, the, the construction industry has, has a poor record. Uh, we, we need to train a lot of people, and we need, we need to train them properly and give them the right skills for retrofit. You know, does the training cover the reasoning for the system as well as just site best practice? Do people actually understand what they're doing? I think that's very important. And do we train the specifiers? to ensure that the correct systems are specified you know, for Irish building conditions and, and, for, and indeed for the Irish climate. Uh, and I'm going to show two retrofit samples, examples that we've recently completed uh, in, in Dublin so using Sangaban systems. And I'd also like to talk to you uh, about our, our Technical Academy, which is, a, which is a facility we have for training people. So that's my topic. Uh, briefly then, Sangaban. We have operations in, in 64 countries. Um, nearly 190,000 people worldwide, uh, sales in 2010 of 40, 40 billion, uh, with, with profits of 1.3 billion. It's a French company, and it was founded in 1665 by Colbert, and you know, we, we often say that the first job they ever did was to make the, the mirrors for the whole of mirrors at Versailles. So that's, you know, we've a, we've a, long, a long pedigree. Um, we divide the, the industry up, or the, the company up, into four sectors, and I'm not going to cover this in, in much detail, but innovative materials is the first sector, and that, that that's, accounts for 23% of the business. It's mainly glass, and that's glass that's used uh, both in construction and in automobiles. Uh, we're number one in Europe and number two worldwide, and you know, just to make it real for you, there's probably a 50-50 chance that the, 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 the glass in your car has been made by Saint-Gabin, so that's, that's probably what we're best known for. Building distribution is the second one, and that really is what it says in the tin. It's the distribution of building materials. We're number one around the world. Haven't got a huge presence here in Ireland. Uh, the, the brand in Ireland is called JP Corrie, and it operates mainly, mainly north of the border. Uh, the, the last one there on the right is packaging, and that is glass again, but it's, it's fancy glass. It's glass that's used in perfume, in wine bottles, spirit bottles. And it's actually for sale at, at this point in time. Uh, Sangaban have taken a decision to dispose of it because it's not part of the core construction uh, our habitat strategy that we're currently engaged in. And I suppose the one I, I'm primarily here to talk about, the second one, is construction products. Uh, we're the worldwide leaders in, in lots of areas, but I'll just list a few. Uh, in cast iron pipe, that's used for, uh, for water and for waste. Number one in plaster and plasterboard systems. And also, number one, we're the leading insulation brand around the world, with one in three homes in, in Europe and one in five in the States getting their insulation from Sangaban. We uh, operate in 55 countries, manufacture in 55 countries, uh, there's 46,000 employees, and last year our sales were 10 billion. So I hope that gives you a, a flavour of the size of Sangaban. Research and development is, is a key priority for Sangaban. Um, we've got six main R&D centres around the world, in, in US, in, in, in Europe and in Asia. We had 361 patents last year, so that's nearly one every day just fell short by four. 
Um, there are three and, a, three and a half thousand people working full time on research and development in San Gaban. And in 2010, we spent 400 million uh, on research uh, right around the world. And that's actually 100 million higher. We're, we're quite proud of this fact. It's 100 million higher than what we spent in 2007 before the recession began. So we've been accelerating our investment in R&D, not, not pulling it back due to the recession. We've got a number of major strategic projects at this point in time. I'll just I'll mention a couple of them. One of them is, uh, is solar solutions, and that's primarily in the area of highly efficient uh, photovoltaics. We, we had a major joint venture with Shell in, in Germany. We've now bought Shell out, and uh, we, we, we claim to have the best photovoltaic panels in the world. We're also looking at the next generation of insulation, both for internal insulation and for external insulation. So, as you can see, there's a huge amount of effort going on uh, in, in inventing the products of the future. Sangaban in, in Ireland, then, I suppose more relevant to you, uh, three main brands. Giprock is, 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 is the leading brand, probably. Uh, it's probably better known to a lot of people here as Gypsum Industries. It's the leader in plaster, plasterboard, and interior solutions. And we've been operating in Ireland at King's Court in County Cavan since, uh, since, since 1936. So we're actually celebrating 75 years this year. We've got Eastford End, which, as I said, is the world's leading uh, insulation brand. It's been here in Ireland uh, since 1974, and as well as insulation, it's also a leading provider of air tightness and moisture control systems. And finally, Weber, uh, which is a leader in industrial mortars. Uh, it's also a leader in external wall insulation and in renders. And they've been manufacturing at Ballyclare in County Antrim since 1974. So all in all, we have about 800 people employed on the island of Ireland. So not bad for a company that most people don't even know. Um, next, I'd like to talk about our Sangaban Technical Academy, and that's uh, a picture of it there. It was opened by the, by the then Taoiseach in May 2010. Uh, it was a brand new building, uh, and there was an investment of, of one, one million, and that was in, in the depths of the recession, and I, and I think that was a, a big vote of confidence by Sangaban in the future of both the construction and retrofit. Uh, industry in Ireland, so we're very, very pleased to get that, get, get that investment. It's for building professionals, and by that I mean builders, I mean craftsmen, I mean specifiers, architects, and indeed merchants, our, 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 our customers. Since it was opened, we've, uh, we've trained 800 people so far, that's 800 external people in, in, in all areas of, of retrofit and, and new build, and that would be air tightness, moisture management, external wall insulation, dry lining, and plastering. Uh, you know, we, we do the theory, we do the practical. The, the bottom floor there is, is, is a practical area where people can actually try out what they've learnt in the classroom on the first floor and also deal with typical on-site issues. So we like to think that you know, when people leave us after their training course, they have the confidence and the knowledge to do the job properly. So now I'd like to, to move on to our, our first case study. Uh, which was actually at Damer Court in, uh, in, the, in inner city Dublin. There's a picture of the building there. So it was built in, in 1972, and it was owned by the Church of Ireland. There's about 50 apartments there. Uh, the occupants are, are mainly elderly, single people, and they're, they're long-term residents. The building was, was largely uninsulated and uh, had cavity brickwork. As you can see there, very poor U values, and it was a very dra damp and, and, and drafty building. It had a BO rating of G, so it had, it had the very worst possible BO rating. Uh, so the owners decided to retrofit. Uh, they, they wanted to look after the, the residents because they didn't feel the living conditions were up to standard. And their objectives were to provide a comfortable and energy efficient uh, dwelling and also, obviously, to reduce the uh, utility costs. Um, so Sangaban were, were approached to, to provide a solution, and uh, we considered different options. We obviously looked at, at external insulation, we looked at pumping the cavity, and we looked at internal insulation as well. In the end, we decided to, to recommend uh, external wall uh, insulation, and, and the main reason we did that really was that uh, we, it was the best option for minimal disruption. Uh, the tenants had to stay in place uh, during the build, which lasted for four or five months, and that, that requirement also then ruled out uh, internal an internal solution. As regards pumping the cavity, uh, we didn't feel that there was sufficient improvement to be made uh, due to the existing wall construction. So our objective was to maximise the thermal performance of the wall by, uh, by a significant reduction in thermal bridges and by, by using the optimum insulation thickness. We also wanted to match uh, the existing facade so that it would be in keeping with, 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 with the buildings on the street, and that was a planning requirement. Uh, in the end, we chose uh, the Weber EWI system 
with a brick effect render finish at the front and uh, an acrylic render finish at the, at the rear. And they were both over 80 millimeters of extended polystyrene. Uh, the Weber system has both SEAI and NSAI accreditation. Uh, we, we consider ourselves an industry leader uh, for our technical knowledge. We were one of the first into, into the game, uh, so, so, so we, you know, we've got lots of experience, lots of knowledge, and we have a very large trained and uh, approved installer network. And this project was actually the largest brick retrofit, retrofit project in Ireland. So the results of that job then was that, uh, well, it was, first of all, it was carried out by Active Thermal Limited, and I think they're here today. Uh, the project was completed in February 2011, uh, four to five months duration. And we did succeed in our objective of uh, pushing the BOR rating up from a, a G to a C1. And we reduced our energy consumption by, uh, by 73% um, to 163 kilowatt hours per meter squared per year. So you know, it was a huge reduction. Um, I then have a picture, I think, of before and after. So you know, it isn't a huge difference, I think. But, you know, except in, in the energy performance of the building. I actually visited the site last weekend and I, and I spoke to some of the residents uh, and, and it was great really to get their feedback. Uh, you know, they, they really spoke about this huge improvement in, in their comfort levels in the building. They were, you know, they were warm obviously, but, you know, there was no more damp, no more drafts and, uh, you know, they, they really had noticed a huge difference and, and were very appreciative of it. And they also, um, perhaps surprisingly, commented on how proud they were to play their part in, in reducing CO2 emissions, you know, the mostly elderly. So they were thinking about future generations. So, you know, it wasn't all about, about costs for them. So that was a, some very positive feedback. Case study two then uh, involves social housing uh, for w, Dublin City Council. Uh, there were a number of types of houses. We had, uh, we had apartments, uh, we had, we had semi-detached semi house and terraces. Now this was a, a, a different type of project. There were, there were a number of challenges. Uh, as I said, it was social housing. They were generally built in, in the 1930s, and they were solid brick construction. Uh, the problems associated with that was that there were uninsulated, cold buildings, there was damp and mould, and there were uneven surfaces with the walls in, in very, very, very poor con condition. So our parameters and objectives were really one, uh, they were vacated units, so it was possible to do this when there were no tenants. So, uh, you know, that, 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 was, that was an advantage. We didn't have to worry about disturbing people. Uh, our clients had a, had a, had a limited budget. Uh, the target was a C1 energy rating, and also there was a strong desire to improve the overall comfort levels in the, in the building, and also uh, a desire for a robust and maintenance-free system. So, as always in Sangaban, we adopted the problem, problem-solving approach. Um, we considered the various factors, such as the variable wall tights, the, the cost effectiveness of, of the various systems. We did our U-value assessments. Uh, we did our condensation risk analysis using WUFI, WUFI uh, which is a dynamic condensation uh, tool. Not many people using that, but it, it will become increasingly important. And in the end, uh, we decided on the ESOVER Optima system, and I think we're, we're a little Yeah, now you see that system being built up. I hope. Yep. Okay, so that just gives you an idea of the, uh, the build of that system. Looking at it uh, in, in, a, in a little bit more detail, Optima is a, is a holistic solution. It offers excellent thermal performance, but also it offers moisture management and air tightness. It's very cost effective. Uh, it's thermal bridge free, thanks to our, our patented plastic clips, which you can see behind me. Uh, it's a dry insulation, so no wet trade, so it's quite clean. It's also quick and easy to install. Uh, and as well as that, it provides excellent acoustic and fire safety uh, qualities. It's warranted by Sangaban. There's a full warranty there. And uh, you know, Sangaban, as I said, is a huge company, so we're there to stand behind that warranty. And we're also in the process of applying for the first NSI certificate for this system. So that will be the first dry landing system in Ireland to have a, an NSI certificate, and we think that's, that's very important. Uh, there is the application of, of the system again, just building it up. So you know, you do, first of all, you put in the, the, the metal studs and the glass wall insulation. Uh, then we apply the Vario intelligent membrane, uh, which provides air tight, tightness and moisture management. And then, as you can see, there's careful attention to detailing there to prevent thermal bridges. And finally, the system is finished with chip rock wall board. We had uh, some feedback and results. 
from, uh, fr 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 from the people who actually put the system in. Uh, we did get uh, achieve a target of making, achieving a BER of C1 from D2, and there was an 80% improvement in new values from 2.1 to 0.41. Some comments there from the people who actually did the work. You know, it was a new system to them. It's, it's, it's new in Ireland. Uh, they thought it was great on, on the old rough walls. It was cleaner to use in retrofit, as there was no wet trades. Uh, they felt the system produced no, no waste, as opposed to some of the, the traditional uh, dry lining systems. Uh, and it was the best finished building that uh, this particular installer had come across, uh, and the curved wall looks super now. So some, some strong recommendations from the people who actually did the work. Um, I know this is about retrofit, um, but we'd like to give you a glimpse of the, of the, of the, of the, of the future as Sangaban sees it. Our version of, of the passive house is called the, the Sangaban multi-comfort house. Um, and this is, uh, you know, this is our vision of the future. And it's not just a vision, it's reality now, because this house that you see was built by Sangaban in, in Paris in the summer of 2011. So it's actually open, it's there, it's built, people are living in it. It's a positive energy home, uh, producing a net 22 kilowatt hours uh, per meter square per year. It consumes 39, uh, including heating, lighting, and appliances, but it's actually producing 61. So there's a net gain of 22. And it's, uh, you know, it's affordable, 260,000 euros. Now that doesn't include the site. But it, it, it's quite affordable. Five areas of comfort, air tightness, air quality, bioclimatic, insulation and acoustics. And it's a flexible house. It's modular, you know, so it can be built, uh, obviously, in modules as, as, as your requirements change. Now, it's, it's my ambition at this stage, and I'd have to say it's an ambition to, to build something like that in Ireland in the next two to three years. And I, I hope to do that, and then we'll be able to show it off to everyone. In conclusion, then... We feel that the industry issues can be addressed, building performance can be addressed by specifying and using the right systems, really by, by adopting a business physics approach to retrofit. The skills and knowledge gap can be addressed by upskilling and training the construction workforce. And as I said, we can restore consumer confidence in the construction industry by providing top quality work and by delivering comfortable buildings. What does that mean for San Gaban? Uh, we have the systems. You, you saw two examples there in the, in, in the case studies, but we've got lots, lots of other ones, and uh, you know, we have a booth outside, and we have, we have, we have a, a booklet on our, on our solutions uh, called Renovate Right, and it's available for anyone who, who would like to get it. There's also a Renovate Right website showing all the Sangaban retrofit solutions. We have the people and the technical expertise to bring a scientific approach to these projects, and we have the facilities to train. You saw, you saw the, t the technical academy that, uh, that I spoke about earlier on in that presentation. And in that context, I, I'm announcing today that, that Sangaban are offering 1,000 free training days at the academy over the next 12 months. Um, again, you can sign up at the booth, register your interests at our booth outside, and that's freely available to all building professionals. And it's our contribution to, you know, to kick-starting, to helping to kick-start the retrofit industry in Ireland. So we also like to think we have the on-site support for quality insurance. We have uh, cast iron warranties. And in short, Sangaban can provide everyone in the retrofit business with, with peace of mind. Uh, on the right there, you see you know, the, the jigsaw. So we have the systems, the knowledge, and the training. We obviously want to work with, with the industry, uh, with government, with finance and the utilities uh, to turn all that green. And uh, that concludes my presentation. Thank you very much.